Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, this was requested on my Instagram and she asked me to talk about the importance of having dreams and goals and also what to do when you feel like you're lazy and you don't know how to go and achieve them. And for me, I struggled with the belief of thinking that I was lazy and that I could never achieve it because I don't put the work in and I kind of would punish myself and beat myself up for not doing enough to get where I wanted to be and I realise now that oftentimes when you feel like you're lazy or when you kind of, it's a bit like sinking in depression and you just don't want to do it, you don't have the motivation, you don't have the inspiration to go and do the things, it's usually because you're not believing in yourself to be honest, you don't believe that it's possible, you don't believe that you could do it, you don't believe that you're good enough to do it, and you don't see how you could do it, or like the clear path to do it, all of those beliefs are gonna restrict inspiration, like if you don't think it's possible, then you're not gonna have ideas and inspiration of how to do it, because you're kind of blocking that for yourself, so I think the first thing to do would be to really get clear on those beliefs, those negative ones, and uncover where they stem from. Like, has somebody told you that you're not good enough? Has somebody told you that you need to get a normal job and not have any dreams? You know, it's usually other people around us. So getting clear on where those beliefs come from and then seeing the lie in those beliefs, like why they're not actually true and working through your self-esteem to start to believe new thoughts and start to believe that you are worthy and that you can do it you know like it really comes from a lack of confidence and self-esteem when you have no inspiration or spark to go and do it especially at the beginning if you've not really taken many steps but you feel like you're being lazy and you know that you could do more it's probably because you're fearing you're doubting yourself and that's perfectly fine like that's perfectly normal so many of us do that especially in today's society where there's a lot of external noise and social media with easy access to external noise. So it does happen to a lot of us, but it's really a process of starting to believe in yourself because the other question that she asked was about the importance of having dreams. I feel like our goals and dreams are the whole purpose of us being here like it's another part of us being here because we all have our own unique vision or unique things that we feel drawn towards all of us have our own um I was gonna say destiny but that kind of sounded a bit cringe but we all have our own path and our own passions and things that we want and that's like the whole purpose of you being an individual person and it being like the illusion of you being separate from everybody else that's why we have individuality why we incarnated as separate people to play out the role of being a person you know like that's what we're here for you're here to literally tap into that vision for yourself which is your authentic truth it is heart centered so you tap into that heart center within yourself of what you're passionate about and then you pursue it you listen to yourself and what you feel called towards your inner guidance and you follow it and you have to trust that it's going to lead you to where you're supposed to be in every single moment and it's just so important because to me if we didn't have that there would be nothing to get out of bed for, you know, which is probably why you felt a bit lazy because if you don't have that, if you cut yourself off from being able to dream, then, you know, like there's no spark, there's no excitement, you're just plodding along on autopilot. So I really feel like it's kind of essential and a part of the fun of being here is that we have this vision in our minds and we really wanna bring it into the physical reality and experience it in the physical so like that's literally what we're doing every single day whether you're consciously aware of it or not and that's the fun of it is being able to take it from a thought and bring it into a physical experience and that's really incredible and all of us can do that all of us do that every single day and why not do that over something that you love and excites you 
So if you are feeling this way and if you relate to this, then I highly, highly recommend you do your shadow work. You start to uncover your beliefs and uncover all parts of yourself, all of the traumas that you've experienced, all of the triggers and the wounds that get brought up and that are trying to come to the surface. Because the fact that you're even aware of this laziness or the fact that you're um, wanting to know about having dreams and goals and whether that should be important that tells me that something within you is trying to come to the surface something within you like an aspect of yourself really wants to go after them but you just need to get out of your own way start believing in yourself and then watch how effortlessly you take the action that you need because ideas will come to you the momentum builds and you get excited and it just kind of has a domino effect and leads to more and more um, action that you can take and you'll enjoy it as well like you'll enjoy the action that you're taking because you feel inspired you feel excited so then you'll want to keep on looking for new ways to get there and you'll have that vision in your mind too of what the dream is and the goal is so i hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching definitely comment down below if you have any more suggestions or you want me to elaborate on anything and also you can check out the description box below for all links to my music my social media my phone number my jewelry brand because i do hand make crystal jewelry myself and what else do i have there my website everything else about me and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because i do upload four times a week and i will see you in the next video i appreciate you thank you for watching bye you could say i love you i can't get enough boy I